In LASIK surgery, we're interested in reshaping the cornea, the outer lens of the eye. And what we'll do there is we'll take the cornea and use a laser beam to create a separation in the layers of the cornea, exposing the deeper layers. And we'll use a different laser to reshape that, and then the primary layer seals back into position. It has kind of a magical effect because people come into the room without their glasses, unable to see anything on the walls. They have the treatment, they sit up, and they, they, they can see, and it's very exciting to them. The amount of tissue that the laser sculpts is very minimal. On, for the average patient, it's maybe one-fifth or one-sixth the thickness of a human hair is the amount of uh, sculpting that uh, takes place. It's using uh, ultraviolet uh, energy that works on the molecular level. It's actually carbon-carbon bonds that are getting separated in the tissue by the laser. And we uh, can therefore affect the shape of the cornea in a person who's nearsighted. We will flatten out their cornea so that they don't have so much excess uh, focusing power. In a person who's farsighted, we will steepen their cornea so they have greater focusing power. And with astigmatism, we take the warpages out and, and so forth. And so the procedure works nicely and it's very exciting.